Welcome to Disney A, the Canadian-themed Disney travel podcast. We're your hosts. I'm Brandon. <laughs> and I'm Krista. Do you see me waiting for yeah, you to point? Yeah. <laughs> I got a point. You, you have to. It's the rule. Or it was sadness ensues, I suppose. It's true. How you doing, Brandon? Oh, I'm all right. A little mm-hmm. tired. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me you, too. You were gone for a couple days, mm-hmm. and I was making bad decisions, so... Yeah, you were with El Mule, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, you still you okay? I'm okay. I was at work. I was at yeah, a work conference. I know. <laughs> I know. Um. Okay, Brandon. How you like? Other than tired, what's your nerd thing this week? I I don't really have one. I don't know. <laughs> you survived. I survived. <clears throat> Good job. I'm surviving. <laughs> We're surviving. Yeah. Well, I guess my nerd thing is I was doing karaoke. Um, what song did you couple, karaoke to? A couple nights ago. Mm-hmm. I was told it was I'm Too Sexy. Uh-huh. And that's very unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what's more unfortunate? No, I do, re- I do remember doing it. It's I wasn't that I wasn't in that bad of shape at I, that point. But you didn't pick the song. You were told I to was, do it. I was, yes, I was summoned to the stage uh, and then the song without started. my knowledge. And then the song started and I was like, oh, okay. We're doing this. Do you know what's more unfortunate? Mm. I have asked, pleaded, nagged, and have yet to receive a video. I I was singing. I don't have a video. Someone has one, and you could have easily asked. I'm just saying. I. You could have. I don't care. Okay. Yeah, that would have been weird. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, how about you? What's your nerd thing? No, I was at a work conference. Yeah, that is pretty nerdy. <clears throat> um, do, do you want to hear about it? Sure, I guess. It's very You just got home, so I haven't heard about it. No, I literally (laughs) just got home. We started recording. Like, hi, by the way. Yeah. Hi, I missed you. (laughs) Miss you too. Um, So it was about collective equity and visible learners. Oh, like like equity in like an IPO? Mm, uh, I don't know what those letters mean. uh, (laughs) (laughs) That's it. Doing a, an accounting joke. Yeah. It was yeah, hilarious. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hilarious. Um, there's basically, there's this idea and it was like, um, or there is this idea that, uh, to, to, to kind of summarize that like every little thing, um, the impact or the effect that it has on, um, actually you would have liked this on students in a very, like was measured and there was data and like graphs and spreadsheets. Ooh, I yeah, like I know yeah. you know, like those. So it's like, like a particular activity might have an effect of like point two or point six or on what kind of scale? Like what? Well, so uh, okay, so like there's like a barometer and um, so like an Richter scale except for learning. Exactly, basic. That's okay. basically it. okay. Yeah, cool. So anyway, that was kind of the whole thing. That is. That is very nerdy. <laughs> moving on. I'm like trying to summarize. Yeah, no, I, you're stumbling. We're, we're moving on. We're okay. moving on. <laughs> Keep it going. We got lot, lots of new listeners. They're going to turn it off really okay, fast. Okay, okay. Well, Brandon, what are you drinking? I am surprisingly drinking today. Um, it's just gin and, well, this is, uh, it's not bubbly because I usually have bubbly, but mm-hmm. I picked up like a new Western family mm-hmm. thing. It tastes like bubbly. Oh, what kind is this one? It's just peach. Oh, okay. Peach and some, yeah. I don't know, sparkling water and, and gin. Okay. Um, I thought of something, because I don't want to lose our new listeners. Mm. I thought of another nerd thing. Okay. Guess what I'm doing tomorrow? Uh, Other than probably editing playing, this. Probably playing video games. Uh, also that. Yeah. Um, I'm, it, tomorrow is October. We're recording this on September 30th, um, which is also, I want to acknowledge um, Truth and Reconciliation Day. Um, was listening to a lot of that on the radio on the way home. Yeah, they. So I, I watched a football game mm-hmm. uh, last night. The, the Riders did mm-hmm. not do very well, but ah. it, it it was NBC, mm. um, that BC place, BC Lions, mm-hmm. um, and it was Orange Shirt Day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we had uh, Orange Shirt and Day they today. A re- they had a really cool like the BC Lions football team had these really cool orange shirts where the their logo was like kind of redone, oh. in, like. I'm sure a native artist mm-hmm. did it, and it was like very cool style, cool. like a totem pole kind of thing. Very cool. I, I should find a picture. That's awesome. Yeah, so, um, and, less so awesome like, how the Rough Riders did, but well, yeah. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, and so they like had given them out to what, whatever the first ten thousand or whatever oh, people. Cool. So there was a whole bunch of orange shirts in yeah. the stands, and and of course their jerseys orange naturally anyway. Right. So it worked really well. Yeah, we did like 
for today. It's technically Orange Shirt Day, but it's done on Fridays if there isn't a... Mm -hmm. So, yeah, like at my school, it was Friday, but we're recording this Saturday and like, yeah, at the convention, it was Orange Shirt Day. But anyway, um, so I was listening to a lot of that on the radio, but tomorrow, that means tomorrow is October 1st. I'm going to decorate for Halloween. Sweet. October 1st. Perfect. Spooky season. Great. I'm going to pull out all my nightmare clothes. I mean, who am I kidding? I wear that all the time anywhere. Yeah. When I, all my spooky stuff and... Yeah, spooky time. Yeah, spooky time. Um, which, I, I'm going to come back to this other stuff in a minute, but we are going to be doing all our spooky season episodes now. Yeah, like, like starting, starting with today. this one. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, good. Uh, you didn't talk about what you're drinking, though. You, oh, you've gone I'm off the rails. So, I'm and sorry. And very important. <laughs> I am drinking... This is actually very important because <laughs> I'm drinking... Um, homemade apple cider, hot apple cider, with pumpkin Captain Morgan. Yeah. Yeah. P Brandon, pumpkin Jack. P pumpkin Jack. Brandon makes me homemade apple cider every year, or I cry. And <laughs> the first time you did was the surprise. And that was a long time ago now, actually. Yeah, that was a long, long time ago. Um, but yeah, the, the, they came out with the, the, the Captain Morgan's pumpkin, mm -hmm. and you got you bought it because it looked cool. And I was like, what on earth are we going to drink this with? Well, you going to drink it <laughs> I'm not going to drink it. I don't like apple cider either. But <laughs> no, literally, it's just for me. I looked up, uh, well, what what can you drink uh -huh. uh, Pumpkin Jack with? And, and they said, yeah, uh, it's uh, good in apple cider. And I was like, okay, uh, I guess I'll learn how to make apple cider. Yeah, yeah I love apple cider. and. Yeah, I've always loved all kinds of apple cider, but homemade is just... It's very yum, easy. Yum, you just need yum, a slow cooker and a yum. bunch of apples. Yum. And cinnamon. Yes, cinnamon. <laughs> Preferably in stick form. <clears throat> right. I mean, but you can use powdered form too, but stick form is... Better. Yeah. Anyway, it's delicious and it makes me happy. That's I liked good. coming... So Brandon had it heating up, so I came home and I came home to a house that smelled like apple cider and it made me happy. So that's definitely what I'm drinking. Um, also, Brandon, we have an Ahsoka episode... Second last one. We're, we're going to be wrapping it up. What do you... Spoiler-free gut reaction. What do you think? I like I like it. Um, <laughs> it. It's getting close to being my favorite Star Wars show mm -hmm. now. Like, yeah. I, season one of Mandalorian is still a pretty high watermark. Andor. And, and, and Andor is <clears throat> good in its own way, but like... I don't know. Season one of Mandalorian is just fun, but this is like the most Star Warsy one. This is very Star Warsy. Like Andor was just a good show, and like right. Star Star Wars was part of the, like it. It wasn't. It wasn't Star Warsy. Mm. It was a little bit more gritty and whatever, and it worked. Like totally. I think that you can do that with Star Wars, and mm -hmm. they should do that, like different genres or Agreed. whatever. But Ahsoka is just like pure. Mm -hmm giving you the same vibes as the original trilogy kind of thing and just, i think it's so good yeah it's, like, so, it's so really good. good i don't know it's really my good. only concern is they've got a lot of stuff to do in one episode i think there's gonna be a cliffhanger i i, it's I think what i think too though we're looking at season two i think you're getting a well may, not necessarily season two i or the film the the filoni verse yeah. the mando verse is is a thing <laughs> so they're building to that and mm -hmm. i think it's going to be like the empire strikes back version where it kind of ends on a, a bit of a bummer, but, like, maybe bittersweet. Right. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. It, it's giving off that vibe leading to it anyway. Oh, so sure. it totally makes sense. Um, Brandon, let's... Before we head to the news, have you got a better Noah listener? I do. I do. <laughs> okay. I want to hear it. Because we skipped last week. Uh, well, yeah, we had we a nice were... little message. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, yeah, anyway. We had to correct how we had been mispronouncing this. Oh. <laughs> embarrassing, embarrassing. I'm not going to mispronounce this one, Okay, though. okay, I'm ready. Uh, so this this uh, listener area, it's it's not technically a city because they've never incorporated, apparently, mm. which is kind of interesting, but it's it's a census-designated place is the, is the term for okay. it. And it's called Wesley Chapel. That is an amazing name. Wesley. Wesley. <laughs> Chapel. <laughs> Five bonus points to whoever gets that <laughs> reference. Cause... If you get that reference, please message us because that's amazing. <laughs> Very obscure. Yeah. Anyway. Um, I so... don't know. They, they like came out with a yes, new season. There is a new season on HBO Max yeah. or Max. There's a hint now. if you're like, yeah. if you can't quite put your finger exactly. on it. Exactly. Um, <clears throat> so Wesley 
Chapel apparently originated around the mid 1800s as a community of settlers, and of course there was Native American presence dating, dating back like tens of ten thousand years <laughs> BC or yeah. something like that. Um, they were big on lumber mm -hmm. and turpentine production. Turpentine, okay. Uh, very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. um, also big on gator hunting. Oh, that uh, tracks. <laughs> uh, another nickname for the area was. Gator Town, oh. I, I think. Um, just let just let me find it here. That yeah, it had a funny it had a funny nickname like Gatorville or Gatorburg. Oh, can we call it Gatorburg? It's it's not actually Gatorburg. Oh, but uh, should be. <clears throat> yeah, Gatorville. Gatorville. Gatorville, popular nickname. Yeah, yeah. Nice. A mm -hmm. mm -hmm. lot, lot of gators, I'm assuming. Uh, yeah, I guess I guess so. I hope but so. But fewer than there were before. It, well, they were, they're, <laughs> hunt, hunting they're hunting them. them yeah, <clears throat> they like lumbered out all the they they de deforested it and became a big ranch land in oh, there okay. as well. Um, and they had a big influx of settlers during the Civil War time. Oh. And it's it's now it's like it's not a city. It's basically just a suburb of Tampa. So Ranchland around Tampa. I'm having a hard time with my brain Florida, wrapping around well, that. Hey, we're learning all sorts of things about there's Florida. You just, Ranchland. There's a you, bears. You picture you picture Disney World and you picture swamps and you picture like Miami. Yeah, but there's bears and Ranchland. forests and the know. Gators was. Totally I don't know. Florida is a big state. That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, Interesting. And also, boo Tampa. I don't. I don't like them because they have a bad hockey team. I don't like their hockey team. No, you don't like their hockey team. No, the Leafs played them two years in a row, and it's just, uh, yeah. They, they at least won last year, but that was the only happiness that <laughs> was to be had. So, anyway. Hey, we're getting close to hockey season again. We are. very so Boo Tampa? <laughs> very, very close. Boo Tampa, but well, yay, Wesley. Wesley. Chapel. Chapel. There you go. <laughs> If, um, you know what would be even better? If you are from Wesley Chapel and you understand that reference, please let Pro us know. Probably not. That was... Not an American show. Oh, I guess not. No, hey. it was. Oh, okay. Very Canadian. Yes. Never mind then. <laughs> I mean, cool if you do, but you don't. <laughs> that would be Although, surprising. There have been like a shocking amount of Canadian shows that did make their way down to the states. Yeah, like two. Okay, well, <laughs> still. <laughs> Shit's Creek. It's, it's Shit's Creek. And, <laughs> yeah, that's fair enough. It. Yeah. Ha! It sounded like we swore. <laughs> That's well, the name did, of the show. But it's the name of the show. There's a C in it. Yeah. <laughs> That's their name, their last yep. name. They're mm -hmm. the... No, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, I know. okay. Anyway, oh, well. we still haven't seen it because we're no. bad Canadians, but... but yeah. <laughs> um, That's cool. Hi, people from Wesley Chapel. Oh, they also did a lot of moonshining, apparently, so... Ooh. Ga gator hunting and <clears throat> moonshining. You... Gator hunting, ranching, people coming there during the Civil War or after the Civil War? Um, after, I think. After the yeah. Civil War and moonshining. And now it's like a suburb of Tampa. Yeah. That's very cool. That's, uh, we haven't had a better know a listener from that area. Like, Florida I think area I did yet. a Florida one early on, oh, but I don't okay. really remember. I, I don't know. All right, let's head to the news. Disney A News Update. Okay, so first news item, the villas at Disneyland Resort are open. The villas. The villas. Okay. That's the um, DVC villas. Oh, okay, okay. That's what they're called. The Well, isn't the villas like the, the really high-end rooms? Uh, maybe, I don't know. That's just what the thing Because they have, I thought those were the, 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 they have like three, two or three of the like two-story ones. And anyway, so the DVZ tower is open is what you're saying. Yeah, I guess so. The, the news thing just said Disneyland Hotel DVC Villas. Okay, wow. So yes, I don't know if DVC that's everything tower, yeah. or what the deal. The deal. The, villa, the villas at Disneyland Hotel is what the tower is called. Oh, okay. So I, I don't know. See, I thought the villas were just those big rooms, but I whatever. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> whatever. Um, also, there's, like, merch associated with it, of course, because there's merch yeah. associated with everything. And then, speaking of merch, the, uh, you know how it's now officially spooky season? It is, yeah. Disneyland has also given us a sneak peek of the holiday merchandise. The, if you are a Disneyland Resort Magic Key holder, there's a pre-sale going on right now, um, to secure 
if whatever. No, it's too early. The limited quantity. Allow of... spooky season to have its time. It's too early. Stop it. <laughs> okay, but I'm just saying. No, that's... <laughs> spooky season. Um. Yeah. So anyway, that is that is what I've got for news. And that Haunted Mansion is almost on Disney Plus. We're gonna watch it. Spe- speaking of Christmas and spooky season, have you ever seen the? It's a video meme, and it's the uh, scene from Helm's Deep, Lord of the Rings, and it's. Aragorn talking to King Theoden, and, he, and Aragorn's like, how long do you need? And King Theoden says, as long as you can give me. And, and it's labeled um, Aragorn's Halloween and Theoden's everyone. <laughs> and then the orcs are trying to break down the door with the battering ram. <laughs> but, but but they've they've uh, put a video, like the video of Mariah Carey from her Christmas <laughs> song. On it, trying to break down the door, and it, it makes me laugh. I, I'll, I'll find it and show it Do to it. you. Do it. That sounds this. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's really well done. Because <laughs> I was maybe talking to someone this weekend about Christmas shopping. No, I mean you can shop, but just don't talk about it. It was about what I should get you. A three D printer. I told you. That I know. Already. That's what the conversation was. <laughs> and uh, also spooky season, so it's okay. You said you have news. I do. Um, okay. I guess that it's not that Christmas is coming. No, it's not. It's not that Christmas is coming, no. Uh, Disney and the NFL are doing the weirdest crossover promotion I've ever heard. Disney I mean, and the NFL. Well, I mean, they Disney owns ESPN, so it's not right. It's not that weird. But, uh, no, there's a couple NFL teams. I, it's the Jacksonville Jaguars, and I don't know the other team. I don't know the other team. It, it doesn't really matter. But they're over doing... They, they've done it before, and I think they are they, they stopped for COVID, but then they're going to make it an annual thing again. The, there's two teams over there, and they're going to play a uh, regular season game in England at, oh. w- at Wembley Stadium. Okay. Um, but that's not the, that's not the crossover. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, no, that's just something cool happening. They are simulcasting it, it live with a 3D animated Toy Story version. What? So, so you can go on ESPN Plus, apparently Disney Plus, and in Canada, TSN Plus, and you can watch the game play out in Andy's room, and then, like, the, the Toy Story toys are going to be in the stands or something, and, like, each player has, like, their own 3D model, and, and it's going to be live-tracked, like, so the game... Really? The, yeah, it's this really weird thing. That is weird. When is this? Uh, tomorrow. Uh, 9.30 a.m., uh... So not tomorrow from when you're listening to no. this, because it'll be... It'll have uh, happened. It'll already have happened, but yes, this Sunday uh, at 9.30 a.m. Can we watch Easter, this or I part think. of it or something? We can try. I don't know if it's, mm-hmm. I don't know if it's on um, our Disney Plus or what. I'll try and find it, because it's interesting to me. Yeah, um, I want to at least see a clip of what this looks like. Probably have to get up bright like. and early, yeah. Oh, it's the Atlanta Falcons. Okay. Jacksonville Jaguars at mm-hmm. nine thirty a.m. Eastern on on Sunday. Okay. Um. So, not great news if you're listening to this on Monday. But <laughs> but maybe you can find a clip or something. Yeah, to see what this looks like. Look, I, I I'm sure I, something will be on YouTube. Kind of kind of cool. And yeah. anyway, they they see they're advertising it with some of the players oh, wearing that's cool. uh, Buzz, Buzz and, and Woody. Woody Woody costumes, um, <laughs> football style Buzz Love and it. Woody costumes. They're actually really cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they should sell those. They should. <laughs> maybe they do. I don't know. <laughs> I they're. They have to. If they're doing this thing, there has to be merch and stuff associated with it, right? Yeah. Anyway, and it's cool because that what Wembley Stadium, because I was just the my other nerd thing, I guess I mm-hmm. was just watching the. Uh, it's a Hulu sports documentary called mm-hmm. Welcome to Wrexham, where Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhaney, um bought a Welsh football team. Ooh. And uh, in the first season, they they go to the finals of this one tournament and they go play in Wembley stadium and they talk a bunch about Wembley stadium and the history of it and stuff. And it's, it's a pretty big deal. Wembley stadium. Wembley sounds like Wesley. A little bit, yeah, <laughs> but no, it's a big, that's cool. It's like the third largest stadium in the world or something. And they play a lot of big soccer matches there or football matches as they, yes, as they would say. So that's interesting. Mm-hmm. I'm like really curious to see what this looks like. You gotta find something. Yeah, I'll I'll try and okay. uh, yeah. There you go. Very cool. That is that is definitely some cool nerd stuff that I had no idea about. Good good job. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I got my finger to the pulse of the 
the sports ball. So the sports ball. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, let's head to the main topic. There was an idea to bring together a couple of regular podcasters to see if they could talk about the Marvel Cinematic Universe. We call it the Disney A Initiative. Okay, Brandon, it's spooky season. Are you happy for spooky season? I am. We have, of course, as always, a month of spooky stuff lined up. All our episodes, except one, because Ahsoka's ending. <laughs> Is it's, spooky focus. There's some spooky stuff in Ahsoka. That's true. I don't know. We're, we're going to make it work. <laughs> um, but last year and the year before, which tells you how many Octobers we've been doing this now, we talk about villains. Villains. During spooky season. V- villains don't get enough credit because like, without them, the movie wouldn't happen. The, yeah, that's true. So first we talked just about um, Disney animated villains, and then we talked about, last year we talked about sidekicks, actually. So we're going to talk about the MCU villains this year. Sidekick villains, not sidekick heroes. True, sidekick villains. Yes, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Villains, sidekicks, I meant to say. Yes, thank you. Um, We're going to talk about MCU, and I kept this list just to the films. Okay, we're not bringing in any of the Disney Plus shows for this one, or any of the Netflix MCU shows, like um, Marvel shows either. Yeah, no. There's plenty of MCU movies. I think we can. We'll be okay exactly. with just yeah. And, exactly. And some of the some of the Netflix. Well, some of the. <clears throat> although I think one of the best MCU villains is from one of the Netflix. I 100 percent agree. Uh, well, but, actually, two of them. But s- some of the other Disney Plus ones don't have like a set villain. It's more mm-hmm. like circumstance or whatever. So yeah. Yeah. So I have here a list of all of the chronological by like. Not release, release date. No, not by release. Oh. By, like, in the time period. Okay. Um, Of all the films, and then their villain or villains. And some of them are, like, gray area villains, or they might show up in more than one. You'll see what I mean when I get to those ones. Um, So I'm going to go through the whole list, and then we're going to kind of draft. We're going to do... Okay. We're going to do a draft, for, and we're going to do three each for the best villains. Who, who gets to start? Um, I'll let you start, because you're half dead still. I'm not half dead. <laughs> you said I'm not, that. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> okay, let's go through. So the first one is obviously Captain America, First Avenger, and the villain is Red Skull. I mean, technically, wouldn't the Eternals be first chronologically? Don't they start in like 8, they do, BC? but a lot of their story is actually after, and that's what they were going by, uh, not when it starts. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, don't know. I did think the same thing actually. <laughs> Then we have Captain Marvel, and I might say some of these wrong. I'm sorry, Yon Rog? The one Jude, who. Jude, Jude Law. Jude Law, <laughs> Jude yeah. Law. Jude Law, yeah. I'm just... <laughs> Iron Man, Obadiah Stane. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Iron Man 2. There were two. There was Justin Hammer, um, and then there was I- Ivan Vanko. Yeah. I don't have a whip, Russian accent. Whip, whiplash. <laughs> whiplash, yeah, yes. Yeah. And then there was the Incredible Hulk, and they actually count Thunderbolt Ross, yeah, as well as Abomination. So they count two for that. Yeah, I'm saying. yeah, yeah. Yeah. For Thor, we have Loki, and for the Avengers, we have Loki. <laughs> for then we have Thor: The Dark World with Malekith. Malekith. Yeah, the dark elf guy Mal- that no one cares about. Yeah, and he one. sucks. Yeah. Who? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Iron Man three, <laughs> Aldrith, Killian, and. Trevor, who, or the Mandarin, who's not actually the villain. The villain. No, he, he see he doesn't count as the villain. I don't think he's just an actor. It, it was Aldrich Killian is yeah. the villain for yeah. sure. For so, sure. but yeah, they're they're both on the list. So yeah. we're not picking Trevor. <laughs> it, don't pick Trevor, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, Captain America: The Winter Soldier also has two. It has the Winter Soldier, who ends up again. That's like we, I get that he seems like a villain for the first part. But... He's a, he's a, that see that works better than. Trevor Slattery yeah, being a villain. I'm right. sorry. Yeah, like Winter Soldier was a villain. He was he, he was brainwashed, but yes. he was a villain. Yeah. So And then go. Alexander Pierce, and that was the Robert Redford. Oh yes. yes. Okay, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, volume one, obviously, is Ronan the Accuser. Yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two is actually the one that apparently was next on the list, and there were two. They did count Aisha, um, but and then of course Ego. Gold lady who ends up oh again. yeah but she was i guess she was like kind of a villain for a couple uh, moments I, the big villain there is ego but they yeah. are counting there are a couple where there was a minor villain in both of these there's some more coming up that are yeah, gonna be the same kind of idea yeah. like in the next one avengers age of ultron they counted ulysses claw as well as ultron 
I guess. Well, that was it. It's like I guess, but they're on they're on the list, so I included them. Um, Ant Man, Yellow Jacket, mm-hmm. Captain America: Civil War, Baron Zemo. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Black Widow, Drakov, and Taskmaster. Mm hmm. Spider Man: Homecoming. We have Vulture. Ooh, Bruce right. Willis. Um, Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis. Michael Michael, Kilton. Michael Keaton. Keaton. Thank you. Yes. Um, so that was Spider-Man Homecoming. Then we had Black Panther. Again, they counted Ulysses, U- Ulysses, Ulysses Claw. Claw. Yeah. And then also Killmonger. Mm-hmm. Of course. Doctor Strange, we had two. We have, oh boy, Caecilius. Caecilius. Yeah. And Dormammu. Mm-hmm. Uh, Thor Ragnarok. We have Hela. But they also counted the Grand Master. Yeah, kind of. Kind of, yeah. yeah okay. I get he was villainous, but Ant-Man and the Wasp. Goliath and Ghost, Avengers Infinity War, Thanos, Avengers Endgame, Thanos. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Spider-Man Far From Home, Mysterio, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. We have two. We have Wen Wu, like dad, yep. basically. Yep. And then we also have The Dweller in Darkness. Yeah, the, the big, dr- the third act uh, yeah. c- CGI monster. Yeah, yeah okay. exactly. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. For After that is The Eternals, and that is Ereshem the Judge. Spider-Man No Way Home, we have the Green Goblin. Technically, he was the villain. Yeah, and like there was like four other ones, too. Yeah, but they counted that one <laughs> as the villain. Probably just because he was Defoe. And... Yeah, but okay. Uh, there like, was the, you, If you're going to count Trevor Slattery as a villain, you got to count you gotta yeah, count Reptile. Going by list. You know and... what? Let's let's put him in here. I'm going to put him in here. Yeah. The, the list is... You know what? We're going to say the list was wrong on this one. Okay. We've got Green Goblin... We have the, the, Doc Ock. Yeah. Well, I'm writing it out here. We have Sandman. Mm-hmm. Oh, I typed Ele- up. Electro. Electro. That's not how we spell that. That doesn't matter. We can figure it out. Mm. And, and the lizard. The liz- Is that what he's called? Yeah, I think he's I think he's the lizard. Okay. Um. Okay, so we have a lot uh, in Spider-Man No Way Home, which is very cool. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. We have Wanda Maximoff. Thor, Love and Thunder, we have Gore the God Butcher. Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, we have Namor. Mm-hmm, Ant-Man mm-hmm. and the Wasp, Quantumania, we have Modok and Kang the Cor- Conqueror, of course. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One of those more so than the other. Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 3, we have Adam Warlock, and we have the High Evolutionary. Right, and... <laughs> Adam Warlock with, like, a mm-hmm... Uh, uh. And they had Aisha on this one, too, but I, I already had two, and I was like, that's fine. <laughs> right. I would say she's more of a villain than Adam Warlock is, because... Right, especially he, by he, the end. Yeah. Oh, anyway. Okay, well, anyway, that's that's what we've got. Right. There's a lot of movies. <laughs> there is. There is a lot of movies. I might need to refer to that list. Um, that, yeah, that's But okay. I have the first pick. Okay, well, you can go ahead and pick the first. You can pick with, first. With, oh, there's one answer. <laughs> with the, the first draft pick, mm-hmm. I'm very proud to select mm-hmm. my boy Thanos. Of course. Thanos was right. Well. <laughs> He's that, the only that's, villain that's won a movie, so. That is true, but also that is the correct answer. That yeah. is the best villain in the MCU. I mean, so. he had the most time to grow. Like, a lot of these villains are pretty cool, mm-hmm. but they get killed off or... Or what? they're not villainous the whole time. Yeah. Or, yeah. So, I'm not surprised you picked that. That was the right answer. Oh, yeah. If I was going first, that's what I would have picked. Yeah, so, you yeah. got to. Yeah. You got to. Okay. Okay, so I'm having some trouble here for my first one. Mm-hmm. Um, I know who I'd pick, but... I know, well, I don't know who you pick, but I know who right away my gut is saying to pick, but I don't know that that character is the best villain or the best character. It, well, it's Wanda. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. That, that, okay, that's not who I was thinking you were talking about, but that's fine. Yeah, she she, she is the villain in in. She's the multi- villain in that. Multiverse of Madness, And she has sure. some villainous moments in Ultron until she, towards the end, of course. Yes, um, and... Somewhat in her Disney Plus show, that not that we're talking about that, but... Uh, no, but she is a character that is well-developed, and we can include things like that. Just like, if you were talking about Kang, you could talk about seeing him in Loki, right? Like, you can talk about these things, but we're looking at just the movies. So, uh, see, this is why I'm having trouble with her as a villain. She's very well-developed through all of the MCU, mm-hmm. but she's really villainous just in one movie, and if you were just to watch that movie, she wouldn't be a very good villain. 
or not as good as some of the True. other ones. True. No, on the it's. List. It, it, That's why I was having trouble with that yeah, one. Yeah, fair but enough. But it's I love her, so I have to pick her. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, my team is going to be absolutely stacked then because okay. I'm picking the only other villain that's been in two movies. Fair enough. Dear old Loki. Yeah, that's if I was I was either picking Wanda or Loki. Yeah. So I mean, I thought you were picking Loki. I almost or, did. I yeah. almost. I probably should have, and then because you wouldn't have picked Wanda. No, I wouldn't have. Yeah. You got you got to you got to learn your draft strategies. Yeah. Here. Anyway, mm-hmm. it's Loki. Um, he's he's a really cool character, and you like that that gray area a yeah, little bit. Yeah, hundred percent. Um, and he's of course been in lots of movies where he's not the villain. Even mm-hmm. he's just kind of he's. Chaotic neutral is what I would say. Yeah, I love Loki. That that's the right answer. I, I probably should have picked him and then picked Wanda. Probably, but I didn't. So. Yeah, makes it easy for <laughs> so me. There you go. I'm I'm having trouble now again. I'm having just trouble all over the place because I'm looking at these and I just keep wanting to pick like interesting characters, <laughs> not necessarily good villains. Um, but I'm gonna pick for my next one Vulture. Okay, he it was. He was a pretty cool villain and, like, really helped that movie. True. Because Spider-Man is awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, and the, the cool thing about Spider-Man is he has so many villains. Mm-hmm. Like, a lot. <laughs> yeah, well, I almost went for Green Goblin, but now since we added the other ones, I feel like I have to, like, put them all together. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to go for and Vulture so instead. for... For one of the, like, B-tier villains to mm-hmm. carry a movie and, like, a reintroduction to Spider-Man like that, it was it was pretty cool. And, I mean, we got to see Michael Keaton put on a superhero well, villain suit and fly plot. But I liked him as this, again, he is a sympathetic villain. Yeah, sympathetic villain, which works, it works the best when it's a sympathetic villain and he, you, like understand their totally, motivations yeah. totally he's not like i'm gonna be evil he's like got you know sympathetic yeah motivation so i don't know as a character he's incredibly interesting and that's why he's my second character okay are we picking three or five? Oh well i mean there's lots of movies that we could we can go to five we're okay going good through, we're going through it pretty quick because <laughs> i was like i don't know what to do for my last one um <laughs> So I'm gonna I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with Dormammu actually. Ooh, good. I didn't just even like, think of him, but that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Dorm, Dorm, well, Dormammu is gonna be the strongest one on this list. That's, yeah, uh, and he's kind of cool. I don't know. No, he's very cool. This one case where the third act CGI monster was actually worked. <laughs> no, he was very cool and like very powerful, very powerful. So like mm-hmm. unstoppably powerful mm-hmm. and. T- unless you're really smart and find a loophole, I guess, and yeah, die, ten, yeah. die for 10,000 years or whatever. <laughs> whatever it was. <laughs> Dormammu. <laughs> um, and that one I knew how to pronounce because you hear him say it so many times. <laughs> okay, I don't think I'm having the strongest team here. I just keep picking like very interesting characters. I'm going for Killmonger. Yeah, no, I mean, a lot of people like Killmonger as Which is why he showed best. up in What If one of the best uh mcu yeah. villains and i i love me some sympathetic villains yeah he's got a, he's got a villainous. point doesn't go about it the best way nope. so um, villainous well again so did thanos so. <laughs> yeah uh, <laughs> i guess i don't know they all have a point I, some of the points are terrible <laughs> i was i have a soft spot for thanos though <laughs> that's a little concerning <laughs> <laughs> no killmonger's a, a very I find it hard for some of these ones that are only in, like, one movie and we don't see anything else. Like, Wanda and Loki are obviously exceptions to this. Um, Thanos, again. But he's just straight up villainous the whole time. But in order to be in only one movie and still be, like, a very cool character that has, he like, He gets a some... cameo in Black Panther 2. That's true, he does. <laughs> just that's, a, that's, just that's a quick true. cameo. Though. Yeah, that's true. And, I mean, like, we're not talking the Disney Plus shows, but there, there's that. But... To be in one movie and be still a pretty cool villain, I don't know. Thumbs up, Killmonger, but also like, you know, not great. <laughs> no, no, but also like you said, he has he had a point. So he's uh he's my my third. Okay, um, I'm going to th- this is this one's pretty easy as well. I'm gonna go Baron Zemo. That was my next one. Oh. <laughs> I was like. 
you, which one of us is going to pick Killmonger? Which of us is going to pick Zemo? He, he's also he, he's technically the other villain that actually wins because that's true. He gets all of his objectives are are, mm-hmm. are reached by he the end of the movie. He even says that. Yeah, they said uh, all for no, like, and you 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 lost. And he said, Did I? <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> and then and then he gets to come back in, in a Disney Plus show and, and dance get cool dance moves. <laughs> um, and he wins there too. Like he 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 gets stuff done. He's, yeah. I don't know. He's he's uh, one of the few competent villains because there's a lot of incompetent <laughs> villains true. on this mm-hmm. list as well. So I think for my next one, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for some strength and just like straight up villainy. Hella. Oh yeah, no good good call. Good call. Strength and straight up villainy. Yeah, I've she... been too sympathetic and nice. Yeah, <laughs> to this point, oh. Hella, not so much. <laughs> she's she's pretty cool. Yeah. She's cool. Fills out that corset thing real that nice. That wasn't why I was picking oh, okay. her. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, you picked her for you would pick her for different reasons yeah, than me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> definitely. She's badass. Yeah. And bad. <laughs> very, very bad. Mm-hmm. Very bad. But yes. yeah. Okay. Okay. What are well, we at now? That's four. Okay. Yeah. One more each. Uh oh. Yeah. This, so this is my last one. Mm-hmm. Um. That's tough. That mm-hmm. is tough. Whoa. Okay. So we've gone through. Yep. Yep. Okay, I'm just gonna go with the OG, the uh, one that kicked off the MCU, mm-hmm. Obadiah Stane. That was he's he's yeah. the Iron Man mirror match, but it was a really cool villainous totally. turn. And yep. like obviously, if you knew the story of Iron Man, you wouldn't be surprised by it. But it, I, I was it was really good, and it was well well played character. Um, and yeah, I liked him. No, that's a good one. And Iron Man is. He, he Very was, good movie. So. Yeah, he was high on my list because of starting it off, quite mm, frankly. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I have so many here that are, like, on the exact same level. Okay. You know how I was just like, I'm going to go... Okay, because one is, like, again, really strong. Mm-hmm. And the other one is really sympathetic. Hmm. <laughs> I think I know who I'd pick if I was you, but I, I doubt you're going to pick them. So, I don't know. I think I'm going to go Wenwu. Okay, yep. Yeah, is that that's who good. you were going to pick? Uh, Yes, that was like, it was between, it would be for me if I was picking in your spot with who was left. Or uh, Ego was my other one. Wenwu or Gore the God Butcher. Okay, that was another one I was looking at. Because um, don't love that movie, but he was he, so good. He's like by far the best part of that movie and was like, wasn't in it enough. And that's, Agreed not a thing that you say about a lot of the villain like i don't know no that's a hundred percent true ego ego was okay he was just strong and a planet yeah <laughs> like... he's a planet <laughs> but no gore the god butcher was excellent he's a planet unlike pluto yep <laughs> i want to change mine to gore you're gonna change yours to i'm gore? gonna change it to gore because i was picking i was looking I at that one before okay yeah okay or when move yeah it's, just, it's tough Honorable mention to Wenwu. Okay, I'm good with that. He could be our e-bug. Yeah, because, like, he's... Emergency backup goalie. Okay, I like it. Uh, Okay, I'm I'm good with Um, that. Because he's, again, the sympathetic kind of thing. mm -hmm. Um, But Gore, also sympathetic, but he also has the strength on his side. Um, Magic sword on his side, but, you know. Um, And, yeah, he is the best part of that movie. And he's both evil and devastating, like yeah i feel it's i'm angry at him but also feel for him and he was not he should have been the focus for that movie and and he wasn't yeah should have should have been in it more or like had time to develop because apparently in the comics he's like just completely badass and well and that was the whole thing is he's supposed to be not unstoppable but pretty darn close Mm -hmm. and i didn't feel like he was given enough like emphasis to have that come across yeah so I don't know. He he was cool and yeah, acted his pants off. So <laughs> Christian Bale will do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. but also sympathetic. Mm-hmm. You gotta you gotta give me my sympathetic villains. Okay, no, thank you. That is that is true. That is absolutely the right answer. I think I was n- mentally discounting it just because like I keep forgetting about the movie. <laughs> well, yeah, but that even isn't in his a, fault. Even in a poor movie, he was good. Like. The other Thor movie that was really poor, Thor two, the mm-hmm. villain in that is so forgettable. You don't. Yeah, it doesn't. Have whereas to anything. Yeah, that's Gore true. was very memorable in, very a, good. in a fairly poor movie. So, so. really, that says more about. Yeah, him. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, I'm. I get what you're saying. Good. Uh, good list, hey. 
Yeah, you should uh, post our lists on Instagram and get people to vote on who has the best team. Deal. I'm going to win. Do you remember who you picked? All five? Yeah. Okay. Wow. I think it's recorded somewhere. (laughs) I think we're recording right now? Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised you didn't go Green Goblin. Uh, yeah. Too easy? I I, I only got five, and I, Mm -hmm. I, I, I... Mm-hmm. My, my favorite of the Spider-Man villains is Doc Ock, and I wouldn't have picked him in this list, so I would have felt we were picking the Green Goblin, I guess. Mm. But that's why I picked Spider-Man Vulture, just has the greatest rogues gallery <laughs> in Marvel, like, no. by far. It's all about Vulture. Okay, anything to add from this before we start wrapping her up? Because I have, you're going to make a drink, just so you know. I'm curious who's going to be the villain in the next MCU movie. In the Marvels? Yeah. They they're fighting. Um, what's her face? Oh right, she's the she's Ronan's uh, uh, coworker. <laughs> <laughs> she's another accuser. I I forget I forget what her name is though. Yeah, that's right, that's right. But it's like Cree in general, kind of that they're fighting as well. Um, the member of the intergalactic Cree Empire, Dar Ben, and his ally Ail Dan. I don't know. She's an accuser, just like Ronan. So. Dar- yeah, Darben, I think, is her name. But yes, yeah, she's an accuser. Okay, you're going to make a drink. Oh, boy. <sighs> your, I, I, it was totally, the drink you're going to invent was going to be dependent on you. Yeah. Because it was your number one draft pick. Mm. So it would depend on who went first on what your your drink was going to be. So your drink is going to be the, the Thanos. The Thanos. <laughs> okay. Um... <clears throat> The Thanos is going to be sparkling water mm-hmm. and purple gin. Yum! With, uh, it's got to have, like, the five different colors of nerds dropped in it for the <laughs> in, the Infinity Stones. So love it. Plop some nerds in there. So five nerds in there. Yeah. I love it. The different colors. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's the, fun. The candy nerds. I will try that one. Yeah, it sounds pretty good, actually. Yeah, it does. Some of these ones sound really good, and some are yeah. like kind of questionable. This one sounds really good. Oh, yeah, this this would work. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Good job with the Thanos. So that's our show this week. Thank you, El Mule. Um, not for getting Brandon to sing I'm Too Sexy, but instead for the custom theme song. We're not thanking you for the, yeah, no. <laughs> for the karaoke. <laughs> Mistakes you know, were made. You do have the power to say no to that. Well, yeah, but... I mean, but you're not gonna. No, I, it, it, it's, it's, everyone had a good time, I think, uh, except for people's eardrums, I'm sure. But that is what it is. But thank you, Emil, for the custom theme song you heard at the top of the show. You can find a link to his work at our website at disneya.wixsite.com slash podcast. And that's also where you can find a link to our social media accounts. We are on Facebook, um, most active on Instagram, and you can also find a link to our email there. And like we keep saying, we are technically still on X, but not posting new stuff but if you want to go and check out the live tweets especially brandon's live tweeting highly recommend you can find disney a episodes on all of your favorite podcast streaming platforms and on our youtube channel adventures a if you've rated or reviewed our podcast thank you and if you haven't yet please do um helps with algorithms especially on apple podcasts yeah yeah so brandon remember how we started doing deep dives Deep I dives. do, I do, yeah. Deep, deep dives. Davy Crockett, Canoes. Yeah, yeah. yeah we did Davy One Crockett. of our mo- most popular episodes. <laughs> if you haven't listened to that you one. You guys I, really like Dave, the Davy Crockett Canoes. They, they're probably like, what on earth are they going to talk about for an entire episode of the Davy Crockett Canoes? I got to listen to this. <laughs> that must be what it is. Uh, I, well, this one I'm is I'm thinking the probably, same thing. I still, I don't know. But we did. <laughs> this one is probably a little bit more popular than the Davy Crockett Canoes. Yeah, I would imagine so. In honor of spooky season, we are chatting about doing a deep dive on the Haunted Mansion. Perfect, right? Yeah. But we are also going to talk about the new movie because it's coming out this week. So we're going to squeeze in a watch of that too. Somehow. Somehow. I don't know when or how, but we're going to. Also, it's Canadian Thanksgiving. So... Yeah, we... we the, the episode might come out late. Yeah, that might come out on like Tuesday or something. Yeah. Instead. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know. We... But m- next Monday is Canadian Thanksgiving, so... You know, don't be sad if we're late. <laughs> well, we might be full on turkey yep. or something. Couch napping. Know. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm Krista. And I'm Brandon. And until the next adventure, TTFN, ta-ta for now. Thanks for listening to Disney, A. Eh?
Wesley. Wesley. <laughs> Chapel.